Hello friends, I'm Sofetch. Apparently I like making tutorial videos, so this is going to be one of them. This tutorial is going to show you how to use a controller on your PC to play Gigantic. Now this does use a third party program, so this is not officially supported by Microsoft or Motiga, so don't go asking them for help. Controller support, I'm sure, will be included in the game at some point. Remember, this is still closed beta, but for now we can go about using this method. The first thing we'll need to do is, of course, have a controller. Oh, this is going to be for a wired controller. Now, the wireless ones require different drivers. That's not going to be covered in this. We just have a normal wired controller for this. So the first thing we'll need to do is plug in the controller. So here we can see the controller drivers are now being installed. And it's important that this is for an Xbox controller because Microsoft developed the Xbox, so of course the drivers are easy to find. It's just plug and play. And we can tell that the drivers are installed right here by going to Device Manager, and you'll see it listed. So as long as you see your controller in the list here, it's very likely this will work for you even if it's not an Xbox controller. The next thing we'll need to do is go and download the program. Now this program is called joy to key You can go to this website here, joy to keynet So we'll go here to download, and we are just going to download the latest version. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Here it is. It is zipped, so we need to unzip it. Just move this folder out of here. Open up the folder, and here's the program. It is called joy to key So here, I'll give you a quick rundown of this program. What we see here is we have a quick profile. That's just created by default, so that's fine. We can leave that one here. All of these are the buttons that correspond with um, an action on the keyboard or the mouse. So we're going to start moving around the joysticks here, and you'll see left stick is stick one, right stick is stick two, here's the face buttons. We have the triggers, starting back, the middle one, eh, there they are. So each one of these can be assigned to a keyboard or mouse action. So first thing we're going to do is we'll just start with stick left, which is just the left stick going left. So we know already that this is movement, so that's going to be A. And then here's the right one. So we know that's going to be D. And we'll just do the same thing for these ones. There we go. So now we have WAS. And this is tied to the left stick, just this segment here. So to see if that works, we're just going to open up Notepad. And I'm going to spin this thing, and you can see that it is working. So that'll get us moving. The next thing we'll need to do is move the mouse with this. So that'll be the targeting once you're in-game. And that, for me, is going to be tied to stick two. So we're going to do something similar. This will be for left. But instead of going to keyboard up at the top here, we're going to want this to be mouse. And so this segment right here is the cursor movement. So this is going to be left. We're going to put this at 100, and we can adjust that later. We're going to do the same thing. This is for right. Go up here to mouse. Move this to 100. This is for up mouse, and then we'll move this one because this is the y-axis for vertical. Do this one at negative. So let's give that a shot. So we should start seeing the mouse move when I do this, and there it is. Excellent. And of course, these two aren't the only things you need, so we're going to have to go through and bind all the other ones, and we'll just do that real quick. So we've got a little guide here, and I'll put this in the comment of the video so you can see that. So we're just going to make this jump, just space, let's see, this is attack, which is going to be mouse, left click, let's see, this is skill 4, which I think is F, okay. Skill 2, which is uh, Q, maybe? Skill 3 is probably E. And then we'll just do Sprint, which is there, Shift. And Dodge for me is P, but I think it's something else normally. Okay, we'll just stick with that, and now we'll launch Gigantic and we'll see if it works. Okay, so here we are, we're in Gigantic. Now you can see I'm still moving with the mouse and keyboard, so this still functions just like it normally would. And let's give it a shot on the controller. Ah, uh, there you go. Look at that. There we go. We can sprint around, jump. I'm not very good with the controller, but I'm just showing you how simple this is to get up and running. It took us less than five minutes to do this. Yep. There we go. 
So you just have to make sure the Joyda key is running as long as you're doing this, and the profile will be saved. So just make sure that you launch the program before running Gigantic, and everything will be golden. And there you go. That's how you use a controller with Gigantic on your PC.